is your name Wonderful is what you are to me It's you I see in my dreams Every day and I pray for you So beautiful, mama. So beautiful. Emi wa mama kon. Talere ye ye ye. Mama mi o rojuri. That is why I'm loving you. Ni tori ama o o ti a ile oko. Mama mi o rojuri. <laughs> and, and so for those who may not know about the contributions of Ms. Carlton, I'll be very honest, until her son sent probably one of the most uh, well put together and edited videos uh, about her life and about what she meant to this community, the bridges that literally uh, were built because of her uh, to get from one side of, of the fruit belt over to the other side after the 33 had been put in or her uh, relentless um, fighting for her neighborhood. And some of the folks you see here right now, Indy and others, the president of our body, this is really, really, I believe the hand of God that they walked up because <laughs> these folks fight for the community like Miss Galt did uh, when she was here working with BFNC, I believe, and uh, other organizations. Fruit Belt, the Fruit Belt, the Fruit Belt yeah. Center, and all of those things she did. She was a stallion, I would say, in her own right. And I'll let, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let her son talk about her and her family and uh, whatever else you want to okay. do today. Good afternoon. Thank you all so much for being here. We can just bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we just say thank you. We thank you for moments like this when we just get to pause and revel for a little while in someone's accomplishment. And who better than my mother-in-law, someone who has been a friend, a mother, a wife, cousin, so many things to us personally, but also to this community. We thank you for the legacy that you left behind. We thank you even for this opportunity to dedicate this role to her, Lord. Uh, thank you for the role that she paid for each one of us, having the opportunity to just take this time and say thank you. Uh, may it be in our commemoration of her, but let it also be in the legacy that we leave behind. Let the work continue. Let this be uh, in the same spirit that we work to change our own communities and to change our own city and lives and those around us. And we'll be so faithful to give your son Jesus the name. We pray, we pray by the power of that name. Amen. Amen. We also have a single... <laughs> oh, good afternoon. I am Pastor Charles H. Walker, the second senior pastor at Mount Hope Community Church, 1326 Broadway. My wife, Mr. Kendra, is my associate minister. And we are here in celebration this day for my mentor. She was my mentor. That's right. I come up in the fruit belt for 45 years over here. And from a little boy, you know, she started to rearing us and helping us to become the men that we are today. And I know she would, she probably would have been in disbelief, but proud to see that I'm a pastor. <laughs> he calls me TC. That was my gang and all that name. But she saw the good in me. She saw the potential. And I'm telling you, she started me off, Bishop. In, in the world of politics, 
Yes, she did. Right up there, the CAO. <laughs> I was chairman of the Fruit Belt Redevelopment Corporation. Didn't know a thing about redeveloping, nothing but tearing up stuff. But she she ventured me. Her and her her main friend, uh, Mrs. Burgos. Yes. But we're talking about Mrs. Burgos. That was my girl. I have to say that was my girl. There was nothing or no time I could call her and she was not available to me. Uh, as a family man, raising kids, and having uh, deep concern and love for my community, and she, that's all we had to show, and she was right there with us. I tell you, um, I'm just so honored just to be here and, and to watch the unveiling of the sign here. We thank Bishop for this, and we just thank God for placing it on their hearts that this could come to fruition because it's something that should have been done. And everything has its time and place, not by our time, but God's time. So I'm just honored to be here. I'm so proud of my surrogate son. I have probably about 50 or 60 of them around the proof belt. And I've watched them grow up into the men that they have become. And to see that he's a doctor now. I'm yeah, telling you, right. a doctor. Not just a regular, he's a doctor. I am so proud of him. I really am. I miss him from, from seeing him in Buffalo. I know he's uh, relocated, but when he comes here, I always want to see him. And I'm just so excited about him. Uh, Mr. Gaunt, it's good to see you. I know you don't remember me. Uh, I took, these, took these glasses off and my my I always call him T C. Yeah. I was a grown man before I knew his name was Charles. <laughs> Between my wife and his Virgo, they were just like two sisters because when you seen one the other one was somewhere near. And um, the, the day that we took my wife for the final time to the hospital. We were pulling out, taking her to the hospital, and Mrs. Burgos, people, was pulling in. Yeah, her, all her kids were pulling in you know, from out of town. One didn't know what the other, one family didn't know what the other family was doing at the time. But uh, we that was there, uh, later, we all knew, and that was something. It seemed like they were going together. Yeah. Yeah. One week later, after my mother was, I mean, my wife was uh, funeralized. They were funeralized. Uh, well, actually, it was uh, just a few days. Um, yeah, a few days. So. Come over here, Hazel. Yeah, Gaga's taking the tape off this sign. Yes. Wow! Beautiful! Beautiful! Hazel Irene Galway. Look at there! <laughs> Let's get, get to work. <laughs> and, um, and so the city, one night she said, she told them, okay, at 8 o'clock tomorrow, there'll be nothing moving in the city. And they were all over the news talking about what's going to happen. Is Mrs. Galt serious? And, um, and so then at the, uh, they wanted to get it done by the news because they were giving alternative routes for everybody to drive. And they identified a million dollars with the bridge, and that was back in 70, 